Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure and I have a race number today. So it is KVK day down here in Cornwall and it's the first time this awesome race has been part of the Salamon Golden Trail series. One of my favourite routes, stunning route, lots of steep climbs, steep descents. The weather gods are kind of with us today, we've got a bit of an overcast day, temperatures are good, there's a little bit of wind so it should be perfect running conditions itching to get out there although i am using it as a sort of back-to-back -back weekend so i did run nearly 16 miles yesterday so my legs might not thank me for that later on but let's get the numbers on league is running as well we're going to get over to the start line and today we are running the kvk stunning route so come along enjoy the views and we'll see who we can meet on the way So we just bumped into Joe, oh, oh. and Joe follows the channel. Thanks for watching, Joe. Yes, okay. I love and, it. And this is her first time running the KVK, and she's running it because of watching our videos, which is awesome. And I went to the Buttermere one, so oh, yeah. awesome. You'll love it. It's a great route. Just go nice and easy on that first loop. Yeah. Walk the hills, I will. take in the view. I will. So yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Oh, Have a great run. Keep, keep going. Yeah, we'll see you at the finish, yeah? Bye. See you at the finish. So you can see across the way there, runners going up the first climb. So we are carrying poles for the first time in the KVK. Never used them before. It's a short distance, but so I'll give it a go. See how they help on the hill. So we're going to grab them out and use them on this first one. See how we get on. Can we set it free? The feeling that we feel set aside everything. Let it still be real. Dropping down the steps into Driftwood. So this is where the race used to start before it moved to the yeah, yeah, yeah. airfield. We've got uh, a dinosaur. All right, boys. Right, yeah, we're up. So up the first hill, down the first descent, and now we're going back up again and heading towards St Agnes Beacon. Feels like a road to crossings, bit of tarmac, back on the trail and we are heading up to the beacon for the first time. You can hear the cowbells in the distance which always gives you energy and is everybody having a great time? Yeah, yeah that's good. See, positive. Although this is this is the first lap boys so it could all change on the second one. <laughs> all right let's get on this beacon.
for the second time. So two ticks off already. We've only got another two to go. How about that, Tim? Oh, and you got another two to go. I thought it was three to go. <laughs> oh, I'll do three. Yeah. You're going to do an extra one for fun. So what I love about this route is, yes, there's a lot of hills, you know, a thousand meters of elevation in 15 miles. There's obviously a lot of ups and they're tough, but you also get a lot of long drawn out runnable descent. So when you come off the beacon for the second time, we got a long, awesome descent with amazing views all the way back down to the coast bar. And you can really make up a bit of time. So we're gonna put the cameras away. We're gonna bomb it. Hey Mark. So we are just heading towards the Blue Hills now. Real tough, hilly section of the route. And there is a new segment here. So put on by Freedom Racing and Salomon. And it's called the Cheer Zone. Up these big, painful steps. So there should be some awesome support. Lots of cowbells. And it should really help get us up that hill. It's a brute. Okay, ah, I got the legs burning. I think uh, that run yesterday is gonna come back to bite me. Woo, heavy legs, man. We are back on the airfield, so heading towards the turnaround chute to begin the second loop. I'm just taking in some calories, so plan is I've got two precision fuel and hydration gels, and I've got some of the energy chews. Them steps really kick the stuff in out of me. I'm gonna get some calories in, try and recover a bit, and crack on with a second loop. All good though, all good training in the legs. Cheers guys! Okay, we're off. A couple of quick cups of coke, give us some energy, and here we go again. Lap number two! Hiya! Cheers guys! Actually, you who I have to blame in life, you know, like uh, I just need to watch I, one of Lloyd's videos. I do get that a lot, unfortunately. I do, <laughs> I do no, apologise. No, they're great. No, they're great, actually. <laughs> this is the kind of support you get at the KVK. Look at this. Look at this spread, eh? Hey? All kinds of goodies, fresh fruit, juice, gummy sweets, eh? Hey? Can't be bad. And it's at the top of a hill, so, well, halfway up a hill, because we got to go that way, up another hill. Guys, you are legends. Take Thank care. you very much. Have a good one. Take care. Yeah, we can hear the cheering. 
This is the beacon crossing for the third time. I'm not gonna lie, my legs are definitely feeling this. Funny how the brain works, isn't it? It sort of blanks out all the suffering from past run-ins of this event. You think it's gonna be great. And then you realize, no, it hurts. But one more beacon crossing after this. Cheers, Tom. Look at these epic views, though. Look at it. The support, the views. It's got to be worth all this suffering. Got to be. Well done. Here he is. Well done. Okay. Enjoy. Cheers, man. Done. If you can hear me over these annoying cowbells, they're not annoying really, they give you loads of energy, but four loops of the beacon. I'm struggling and I'm not looking forward to the Blue Hills if I'm honest, but we're getting this done. What? Oh, 12 miles? We're nearly finished. 12 miles, 2 hours, 16 minutes. Can we get in under 3 hours? I very much doubt it, but we'll give it a go. Back on that long descent now, all the way down to the coast path. Legs are working well downhill and on the flats. I just got nothing going up them. Definitely running yesterday's cause that. So we're going to push hard on this last long descent. Try and get some time in the bag because I am going to be slow going up those last two big hills. That's for sure. Strong fella. Oh, yeah, same here, mate. Hey. And thank God that's over. Good on you. Good running. Yeah, you should do I've got the energy. I'm changing fast. Yes. Thanks, mate. Not really, but there. So you join me back at home because Muggins here thought he'd filmed a nice outro to the video but I forgot to press the record button. You'd think after making YouTube videos for five years now that I'd remember to press record but you know these things happen and I'll put it down to fatigue after running those tough 15 miles. So both myself and Liga made it back to the finish line. I crossed in two hours 55 minutes and Liga clocked a solid three hours and 35 minutes. So we're pretty happy with the efforts of today. There was some super speedy running out there today. Uh, the overall winner, Daniel Connolly, clocked a time of one hour 44 minutes, which is 
quite frankly ridiculous. And the first woman across the line was North Face athlete Eleanor Davis in two hours, one minute. So some super impressive running on a very tough course. A huge thanks to Tom and his team from Freedom Racing. All the marshals were fantastic and the support out on the route was incredible. Probably the best I've ever seen it. So if you were out there clapping, cheering, ringing those cowbells, I can't thank you enough because it, it really did help lift the spirits when we were digging deep and pushing up some of those steep hills. It was also great to run with Mark on the race and cross the finish line together. Himself and his lovely wife Tracy are huge supporters of the channel, so it's always nice to get together at a race and spend some time together. So all in all, a really successful KVK and being the first time it's featured in Salomon's UK Golden Trail series, I think it was a massive success. If you enjoyed coming along at the race in the video and you fancy taking it on one day, I've left a link in the description below to Freedom Racing in case you want to find out any more information. I couldn't recommend the race enough, you know, it's a stunning route, lovely people, great support, and the medal is a super cool cowbell. I mean, you know, you can't ask more from a race, that's for sure. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. We'll be back on the channel very soon with some more exciting content. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay safe and keep on running.